In this topic, I want to do a couple of uh, logarithms uh, that we can do without a calculator. So it's going to build on this, this notion of, of going back and forth between uh, logarithmic form and exponential form. For example, find the log of 64 base 4. And, and just to remind you from the last topic, um, we can't do that on a calculator yet. We don't know how because we don't have a base 4 logarithm key on the calculator. If you punched in log of 64, you would get something that would not fit this problem. All right, so I think the, um, the technique is to introduce a variable, we'll call it x, and then change this to exponent form. So it becomes 4 to the x power equals to 64. And then again, there's that pattern you really need to practice and learn. And it's a simple pattern. The base raised to the other side equals to the input of the log function. So 4 to the x equals 64. And, and by the way, just a, a note, um, logarithms are literally exponents. Because this number, which is a logarithm, is the exponent of the base. Mm -hmm. So um, that will come in pretty interesting and handy later on. Because the, the rules of logarithms apply to the, uh, the rules of exponents apply to logarithms. All right, well, 4 to the x equals 64, and you think, well, is 64 a power of 4? And, and indeed it is. It's, you, know, you can fiddle around with it, and you'll find out it's, it is 4 to the third power. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So we see that x equals 3, because the bases are equal, the exponents are equal. So then I can conclude that the log of 64 base 4 is equal to 3. There's my answer. So I think it's, by the way, if there was no x originally written in the problem, I don't think it would be uh, polite to write an answer with x. You know, write the answer to the problem. And, and this did answer the original problem as I wrote it. Okay, well, let's uh, erase the board and we'll do a couple more. This next one is a zinger. Uh, find the log of negative 25 base 5. So I'm going to approach this naively, like I did the last problem. I'll call that x, and then change it to exponent form. 5 to the x power equals to negative 25. 5 to the x is negative 25. All right, so what power of 5 will give you a negative number? There is no such um, number here that we can put that will give us a negative. Well, actually there is, but it would be a complex number. So, uh, and we're not going to get into that. It's, it's way beyond the scope of the course. So, there is no real number that will work there. And so I'm going to conclude the problem is, is not a real number. Not a real number. And we'll just leave it at that. So, uh, the moral of this story is that we, we don't take logarithms of negative numbers. They don't exist in the real number system. And so, um, when you see that, you know, think, well, there's no solution in the real numbers. And, uh, and leave it at that. So, no, no logs of negative numbers. Now, people get that confused because a logarithm can be a negative, just as it will be in my next example. Okay, let's uh, find the log of 8 base 1 half. So, a base can be uh, a fraction. It can be uh, less than 1. As long as it's positive, it's okay. And uh, it's a little unusual to use a a half of a fraction as a base, but uh, but anyway, it's a good exercise for you. So I'm going to set this equal to x, and then change it to exponent form. And so my base is one half raised to the x power equals to eight. And what in the world could that be? Well, uh, to solve this, you want to think about getting a common base, and uh, eight is two to the third power. So that would, uh, it looks promising. And um, we could say, well, one half is two to the minus one power. Oops, I didn't mean negative two, I meant just two. Two to the minus one power is one half. So I think we're making headway here. If I take out these parentheses, I have two to the minus x equals two to the third. So what's that tell us? says that negative x equals 3, so x would be negative 3. That means my original problem then, the log, 
of 8 base 1 half would be negative 3. So there it is. It, it, like I mentioned a minute ago, it is uh, possible for a logarithm to be a negative number. And uh, so there you go. Now normally when you see that, let me just give you a quick example. For example, the log of um, 1 eighth base 2 would be negative 3 because 2 to the minus 3 is 1 eighth. So normally you would see a negative number as a logarithm if your input was a fraction. And, and you're, because most of the time, almost always, we use um, you know, integers for bases, not fractions. All right, uh, one more example to show you. Here we have log of the square root of 27, base 3. And we want to know what that is. All right, so, um, well, let's, let's do as we did before. I'll call this x. And so that means 3 to the x power equals to the square root of 27. Now, I think you'll probably recognize that 27 is a power of 3. And so we want to somehow convert this to to a, a power of 3 in order to uh, equate the basis. All right, so um, it, it really demands that you remember that the square root means one half power. So to change the square root to, a, to an exponent, it would be half power. If it was the cube root, it would be one third power. If it was the fourth root, it would be one fourth power. So 3 to the x is 27 to the one half power. And now if I think of 27 as 3 to the third power, which it is, so 3 to the third power to the 1 half power, when I remove the parentheses, I have 3 to the 3 halves power. And now I've got the bases equal, so the exponents are equal, x equals 3 halves. All right, so that tells us that the, the log of the square root of 27, base 3, equals to 3 halves. There we go. So, it wasn't that bad, was it? Alright, um, well, time to move on.